right, so here's the former UFC light heavyweight champion, Jamal Sweet Dreams. Hill wrested the title away from Clover Teixeira at UFC 283. That was January of 2023. One of the better championship performances of that year. But then Jamal Hill tore his Achilles playing basketball. He was unable to defend the title, which eventually he was forced to vacate. But as an athlete, as a boxer, as a grappler, a lot of people still believe this is the best 205-pound fighter in the world. He's got another opportunity to prove just that here on The Proving Ground tonight. rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pedeta? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pedeta not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pineda, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> champion fighting out of the red corner presenting the reigning defending undisputed usc light heavyweight champion of the world alex politan Perea! herb dean third party in the octagon Wait. tonight all right, early round action here as we get a look at Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill. And Jamal Hill just speaks to the overwhelming depth in the light heavyweight top ten right now. A lot of folks wonder when John Jones... You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Oh, a nice inside leg kick landed there by Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill. Uppercut attempt nearly connects, but no good. Sweet Dreams Hill gets tattooed by that straight punch. There's that kick. 
And the fighter lands again. Jamal Hill gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Nice crack there. And he caught the kick. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Right now they're separating. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Uh, nice Pereira gets caught with that punch. He gets to the single college eye. Look at him to drive and move his opponents to find openings to land that free hand. Just over three minutes to go. Fast jab lands there. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. You wonder if the offensive fighters can start to get frustrated here. Most skips on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Outstanding kick there by Padeda. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice body kick there. Just over two minutes, round one. Oh, double jab there by Jamal. Oh, sweet dreams here. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar. All right, so Alex Pineda getting it done with his striking as usual, realizing success low with the kicks and certainly up top with the hands. John, whenever you accomplish all that he accomplished in kickboxing, you expect him to be a high-level striker. But the way that he has adapted his style to mixed martial arts, really should be commended. He isn't just fighting as a kickboxer anymore. He is competing as a huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Oh, uppercut. Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish it. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now he's tasked with trying to find that shot again. Single collar tie there. Busy in the clinch. Lands that punch. All right, so look at that. The cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Unable to connect there. Final seconds here of round one. Closes the gap and gets the single collar tie now. Nice job of hiding that hit. Second round, straight ahead. All right, there's the horn. An appreciative crowd responding in kind. He rocked his opponent multiple times there in that round. Looked very confident in doing so. They might even bring in the RP here. I mean, he was. It was relaxation at its finest. Just so relaxed, so comfortable in the fire, which then allowed him to land these big strikes that had his opponent buzz on many, many occasions. But he cannot get desperate. Don't go crazy trying to finish the fight. Let it come to you. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. Ready. It was back and forth Ready. action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Alex Pineda gets caught by that straight. Oh, how about the accuracy of 
Cena land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt fast. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, huge kick to the leg. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done, though. Just misses with the straight right. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Takedown defense holds up. Fighters separate from the clinch. All right, so that calf really started to show signs of bruising. He's got to address it now. He's got to start to check these kicks. Three minutes to go in round two. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, oh got to keep pressing here. Big left hand. Well, you can see in plain sight here, his leg is hurt, starting to limp a little bit. Yeah, you're starting to see him limping. I mean, you take so many leg kicks, you, you're going to limp. It, it's, it's natural. you got to check these kicks right now, or that's going to happen. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, and again, another kick to the body. Useful one there. Sweet dreams. Hill gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Getting bruised up on that right side now. Don't want to take too many more shots to that midsection. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid the shot. Back and forth we go. All right, so he lands again. Oh. oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurting bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Under a minute now to go on the round. So that cut continues to get more severe with every passing moment of the fight. Every moment. You know, when you get cut in a fight, you expect for it to worsen because you're not going to not get hit anymore. Right now, he's got to do something to try to limit the damage. Otherwise, it's going to get real bad. Just missed with the left there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. 20 seconds to go round two. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Seconds winding down in round two. Two rounds in the books. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut 
and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so he survives to the stool, but he's gonna need a plastic surgeon on Monday. Let us show you some of the strikes that caused that damage above the eye. Just beautiful striking on display. He found the target constantly. He opened up a big cut above the eye, and now he sees that he's got a Ready, wounded fight. opponent in front of him. Ready. He is going to target that Ready. eye even more in this next round. All right, so next round underway here, and you've got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. But eight is a strike attempt there is blocked. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, now the hook in the clinch by Pedro. Nice leg kick. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up. Let's go. Oh, here's the head kick. It's blocked. Miss with that jab attempt there. Oh, another kick right on the cap. Now, I'd tap out, but I'm not a fighter. What do you do? I mean, there's not much you can do now. You gotta just bite down on the mouthpiece and get through it. Because right now, you won't change much. It's already beat up too far. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. We see it every time. Hill's in half guard now. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Excellent ground and pound strikes here by Jamal Hill. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Well, he's avoided a lot of the damage here on the ground. Nicely done with the head movement there. Not staying still underneath his opponent is allowing him to not get hit with anything too damaging. Great job landing from the top position. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here, just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on it. Over and over. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. single collar tie. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other side. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on the fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better. To go out there... Oh, my God, he's hurt. He's hurt. That's one of those shots, and if you take one of them, if you get the night tap to make it right on Look for him to throw that overhand here again. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Nice land. Great punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Oh! He's hurt again! 30 seconds to go. 
And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Fifteen seconds. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his Ready nose. Fight. Ready. Fourth round now. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds. For this yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra ten minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normal. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. They got checked. Side position. Smart decision by the fighter to continue. Oh, just a nasty leg kick. That one hurt. That's hard to I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. <laughs> just missed with the elbow there. Leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Checks that leg kick. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Huge knee land on the post. And now some knees. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Hill. Oh, that cut on his nose is only getting worse. Not good. Oh, the leg kick lands. I'm spamming leg kicks if I'm playing the game. So he's landed a few big uppercuts already in DC. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again? I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come off of a left hook because off the left hook, you don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. He's real good at trying to find that shot. Just turning his hip over into the leg kick. Hill's doing a nice job there raising the guard to protect the eye with that block. You can't allow that cut to get worse as this fight continues. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Under two minutes to go in the round. All right, good job by him there. Oh, he's wobbled now. Big right hand there. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Sweet dreams. Hill's really bleeding something fierce now. That cut is not getting any better. Oh. At this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but 
go finish the guy. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess. I'd be rushing out of that. Option. Yeah, you don't play with your food. No. Hill swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. Nice connection with the punch in the clinch. Beautiful right hand lands there. Nice job by him defensively there. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh! He's got to keep pressing here. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Sweet dreams, Hills limping now. Daniel, you see the right leg damage, a lot of it courtesy of that last kick. So we'll see if he can figure out a way to get his footwork back and make the requisite adjustments. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. It is the fifth and final round. Beautiful jab lands. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Unless Pineda gets caught by that straight punch, you gotta do better than that. He's got a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. And now a left. Jab. Oh, Able to land there with the straight left. Oh, oh, of trouble right now. oh, nice high kick. Sweet dreams, Hill shot is blocked. Single leg takedown is good. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom. By Pede. All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands yet another strike, and that was clean. I mean, this guy is so clean with his striking. He knows exactly what he wants to accomplish, and he does a great job of doing just that. Nice drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. He passed the half guard. Pineda's looking to pass out of the half guard here, maybe looking for side control. He's denied. Oh now he's going full mount. He's doing a great job of recognizing that he's damaging his opponent and keeps going to that spot. All right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fight a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. He's got to find a way to finish this fight. Stay aggressive. Swing and a big miss by Jamal. Oh, huge right hand! That was a jab. Well, at times he's tried to check kicks, but he has not been effective in doing so, and now he's starting to limp a little bit. He's starting to limp from those leg kicks. He's showing that it's hurting. That's a, that's a big sign when you watch a fighter because a fighter never really wants to give you anything, but he can't help himself. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. That one hurt I mean, that's it. One more in this fight is gonna be stopped. 
these boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Stuff to take down, no problem. Beautiful transition. Oh, right into Mount. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. And Aiden's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. All right, so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. Well, at this point, I would use the word critical to describe the condition of that eye not looking good, champ. No, he's beat up. He's been battered, he's been bruised. He got cut early in the fight. Oh! This oh, man is up. landing brutal ground and pound. Back to his feet. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Looks as though that kick to the body got through. Oh, he lands another crushing kick to his opponent's leg. He escaped, committed with that weapon, and this might be over soon. Yeah, he is not kicking to the leg. He's kicking through the leg, and you see his opponent limping now all around the octagon. And we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 55 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed USC light heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Hoatai. All right, so it goes into the books as a clean knockout. No T required for Alex Pereira. Just another highlight to add to the reel. Massive.